Welcome to Greedy Game. As the first step of integrating the Greedy Game SDK, please sign up on the Greedy Game Publisher panel by going to publisher.greedygame.com. Activate your account by clicking on the link sent to you on your email. Click on the link on this page to go to the integration panel. Now, let's see how to integrate Greedy Game SDK for Unity. To start the integration, first add your Unity game on the Greedy Game integration panel. For this, select the platform as Unity and enter other details like the game name and the package name. Once the game is added you can find the game listed in the left panel, with an unique game ID. Now click on the Initialize tab on the top. From the link here, download the latest version of the SDK for Unity and unzip it. Now import a custom package and select the Unity package from the current SDK folder in the unzipped Greedy Game SDK. Copy the activities mentioned in the integration panel and add them in the Android manifest. Make sure that you change the orientation in each of these activities, according to the orientation of your game. We need to add the permissions mentioned in the integration panel to the manifest. For the native events to run on Android OS 9, in the resources folder, create a new folder named XML folder, in which, create a new XML file and name it network underscore security underscore config dot xml. In this xml file add the network security config code snippet that you can find on the integration panel. Once this is done declare the network security config XML file, in the manifests application tag. In your Unity project. Add an empty game object and attach the greedy campaign loader script to initialize the greedy game SDK.
Add the game ID, which was created on the setup tab of the integration panel, or can be found in the URL of the integration panel. Now let us create some add units. There are two types of add units, clickable and non-clickable. First, let us create a clickable add unit in the add units tab of the integration panel. The width and height of the space available to render the add, in pixels, should be entered here. Along with a description of the location of the add in the game. Once you have added the add unit, you can find a unique add ID created for the add unit. For clickable add units, the ID starts with float. In your Unity project, select or create the game object on which you want to render the add unit. In case of a mesh or sprite renderer, add GG renderer script or else add GG custom renderer script. The GG renderer script will work only on raw image component and not on image component. Now attach the unit ID of the add unit created on the integration panel in the renderer script and declare the same in the greedy campaign loader script let us now add a non-clickable add unit for a non-clickable unit add a texture as well which will be replaced by the add in the game Now add the unit ID of the non-clickable unit, which starts with unit, to another game object. And declare it in the greedy campaign loader script. To handle click on the clickable unit, open the greedy game click handler script and add the show engagement window script from the integration panel to it. In order to resolve the greedy game agent issue, use greedy game .runtime namespace. Now attach the greedy game click function to the game object on which the clickable unit will be rendered.
In order to make the greedy game click handler script generic, you can pass in the string ID, instead of using a constant. Let us now enable Google Play Services, by copying the Play Services AAR files from the current SDK folder of the Greedy Game SDK, to Libs folder of the project. Since we will be using it mob mediation, please enable it, in the greedy campaign loader script. Now the integration is complete. Let us now check the integration by running some test ads. For this, click on the test ads tab in the integration panel and install the greedy game panel app, from the Google Play Store or the iTunes Store. Open the greedy game panel app and scan the QR code. You can see your game listed in the greedy game panel app. Now you should be able to see test ads in your game. We recommend that you upload the APK of your game on the Verify tab of the integration panel, so that our quality team can test it and ensure all the aspects of integration are implemented correctly. For any support, contact your account manager or write to us at publisher at greedygame.com. Thank you.